Shadow Warrior Complete via GOG, short move, short video game review, rather. There's not really a plot here. Basically, you're taking on a bunch of humanoid demons, ape creatures, and such, and, yeah, killing the crap out of them one by one until you get to one of the mm, decent boss fights. The, the major boss fight of the main campaign does have at least one really interesting element to it, to be fair. The, the game has relatively little going for it. It's, you know, it's a straightforward run-gun first-person shooter, and it doesn't really do that much that the other, you know, that it, than its contemporaries, much less does it do any of it better than those. It's off the same engine as Duke Nukem 3D, the, the build engine, and it does do some cool things. You get to ride around in vehicles, including p machine gun armed patrol boats and tanks with cannons, you know, and yeah, killing enemies with these vehicles, with the, the guns on them. And it does have larger and more varied environments than Duke Nukem 3D. The two expansion packs, which those and the compatibility, the optimized compatibility, are really the only thing this has that isn't in the Steam, the, the free Steam version, and they're, they're okay, they're very much expansion packs, you know, with, with Wanton Destruction, yeah, it's, it's, the, the levels just aren't quite as polished or as high quality as the main ones, and they're not, you know, the Wanton Destruction is three and a half hours, whereas Twin Dragon is four hours, and yeah, the, the main campaign took me seven and a half hours as well, so you know, th this was back when expansion packs could actually be as long as the game itself, but yeah, in this case, it does point to that the main game is pretty short, and there's very little replayability. The the guns could easily be more interesting. They're relatively basic, although there are, you know, it does have sticky grenades which act as proximity mines and can stick to enemies. And uh, you can indeed fire a nuke at, you know, it, it's, it's fairly rare and you can only store one at any one time, but nevertheless, it's a nuke. The multiplayer is dead, and even if it weren't, it would be IP to IP only, and there's really only deathmatch with a few rules, and co-op. The... It is very much offensive, kicking down, mocking Asian culture, which, you know, the, the late 90s first-person shooters did sometimes really go for offending people and I don't really understand what's automatically good about that but at least you know Duke Nukem 3D it's offensive to feminists like myself but for for portrayal of women but other than that it is Americans poking fun at American pop culture this is if, if at least it was just like Asian action cinema, but it's also got, like, laborers complete with the hats, I'm not going to use the offensive term, and yeah, they do actually kamikaze, it's their main attack. Fortune cookies, nude anime girls, and yeah, the, the level design is, is quite poor most of the way. The, the levels are genuinely difficult to find your way through. And, you know, other than that, it sometimes boils down to just your average key hunt. Although there are sometimes machines to activate or deactivate switches, levers, elevators, and such. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.